हेलो एवरीबॉडी गुड मॉर्निंग सबको मेरा नमस्कार दिस इज इंटरनेशनल मास्टर एंड फिडे सीनियर ट्रेनर शेखर साहू वेलकम टू यू ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स अथॉरिटी ऑफ गुजरात एंड गुजरात स्टेट चेस सेशन टू दिस इंटरमीडिएट ट्रेनिंग सेशन So today I wanted to start a new series. Okay, the King's Indian Theory will uh, put it in the back bench. I will show you later. I didn't get time to refer lot of modern games, so I will do that uh, theory, opening theory on King's Indian for white and black later. So I wanted to show you just masterpieces of the world champions. in four different parts i mean i thought that uh, from murphy to alekhain max you alekhain till max you part 1 then from botvinik till uh, i mean fisher botvinik i would say till fisher mm. or i would say till uh, petrosian part 2 then fisher onwards till kasparov part 3 and then the modern grandmasters part 4 so today i will show you the part 1 i have selected some good games basically we learn a lot from the past world champions i want to show you today if magnol carlson is playing great because he has learned he has educated himself by seeing those games of past masters here by uh, ramakrishna suresh bhai chawda bachal parik subankar sarkar all are welcome i wish you all a merry christmas and happy new year okay So let's start the game with uh, Murphy. Two games of Murphy I will show first. In those days, uh, this was more popular than Royal Apes. So not bad. Even Gambit is okay. White is giving a pawn for double up. You know. now the why black has various senses he can play bishop to a5 he can go back to bishop e7 or bishop to c5 this is the may, maybe this is the best move because the pawn remains in pain so take now there are two moves white can play queen b3 or white should castle these are the two moves you can't take the pawn now this is not dangerous this is not dangerous i will discuss why first let us see the game e5 which is not a great move it is against the principle you now the bishop is pinning the pawn the king should castle quickly gain time the strategy of the pawn gambit white pawn sacrifice is given to get more development and control of open line so This is simply good move. Now, if you will play knight f6, pawn e5 will come. Or if you play knight e7, I take pawn takes pawn. So, castle is the best move. Alternately, you can play queen b3. After the move, you can play queen b3 as Nigel Short played with sometimes. Now you can play queen f6, or you can play queen e7. So I will discuss Queen B3. First, let us see the game E5, which is not great. So Murphy, Murphy understood the center, understanding the central structure, understanding open lines. So he just opened up. Now, if you retreat, then it is not a good game. Or you retreat, then Black is better. He will take so and pass. why otherwise knight f6 is good but a check is coming so if this knight 
premature move. With pieces under develop, is going for attack. Let me let me tell you, majority of the players will understand that these are bad moves. But I think I have an audience here who are below thirteen hundred. So for them, I am also showing a game. Hello, Clara. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Now. Castle. Okay. Now, alternatively, you can play bishop a3, and I can play queen g6. So it takes, takes. Now white wins, but it won. You know, in chess strategy, now you get a winning position when you get an advantage in any four sectors. Winning advantage in four sectors. What are the four sectors? Space, time, material, and pawn structure. Suppose you win material, gradually we exchange pieces and go to an end game and win the game. Advantage in time means better development. Time means not on chess clock but on the board. More number of moves. For example. They are under developed, whereas black is developed. That's all. So this is coordinated. So black has more time, advantage in time. So space, time, material, and pawn structure. Here, the open line and time. Bishop takes. Now, the bishop is under attack. Take it. Now that means. You have to lose time to save your bishop. Otherwise, you piece down. So come back. Now white white has been under developed. Black has a huge lead, and at the moment the knight is unable to come because of the pawn, and this is blocked. Terrible situation. So one more tempo. 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 You have to go to center. There is nothing. Now I am asking you: How should black play that game? Merry Christmas, Mr. Vadra Singh. एक बात है अभी सब लोग Merry Christmas Happy New Year कह रहे हैं लेकिन अभी ये जो सिचुएशन है इजी टाइम Merry Christmas the whole world is crying. Corona problem. This Christmas is terrible, actually, for the whole world. A new wave of Corona has come. Anyway, I hope things will improve. All right. What should Black do now? Yes. There comes great ng3 <laughs> ng3. Now the queen is attacked and there is a threat. No matter what you do, you must lose the queen or get mad. See, I will tell you, Morphy playing in 1857, about 150 years back, 150 years back, he found he was great. Nobody knew. After seeing this combination, many will get this idea. See, suppose uh, today another player makes such a combination; it's not so great because he has seen the idea. You know, Edward Lasker gave a queen sacrifice. Edward Lasker, he sacrificed his queen to the opponent, and King came got mattered in the <laughs> his own territory. Maybe I should show that game. Maybe, maybe I should show that game. I think it should be. It should be in this one. Netherlands. Uh, Player. Oscar.
not this. Uh, I would say not uh, this Laskar. This uh, it should be in this other one, maybe in Pachman. There. Letter Laskar Janowski. I think uh, I am not getting that Edward Laskar, where he gives a queen sack, where he gives a queen sack and uh, gives his opponent battled in the own territory. Okay, I saw that game. I saw that game, Laskar's game. And uh, suppose I make a combination like this, it is not great. Suppose I will make a combination same way because I had seen that game. So original Laskar's game is better than I give a combination. For example, for your reference, maybe I can show you one of my game. One of my game, I'll show you. I was white in the Mumbai Mayor Cup, D4, Knight of 6, Bishop D5. It is called the Tromposki. Tromposki attack. So knight e4. So I play bishop f4. So d5. I played f3. Knight. I played e4. Actually, we are not risking too much. We are giving a pawn, but a terrific development. So knight. Now the correct move for black. Black should not allow white too much development. He should return the pawn. <coughs> he should return the pawn by playing e3. White is better. Now I should not return. A new every time a new piece should come. This piece is already developed. So a new piece should come. And the idea castle and a good game. White is better, but not so much. This is a good position, but instead of playing e3. Suppose you play pawn into pawn, this is worse. Because here, <laughs> white has got a tremendous development and terrific, terrific control also. Entire control and development, this white has advantage in space, white has advantage in time. So this is worse. Okay, my opponent continued e6. So I play. Bishop, bishop c4, bishop e7, castle, castle. Now, queen e2. That means by move 10, white is, I have castled and my rooks are coordinated. These are coordinated. So, white is better. Development completed by, for one pawn. Now, my opponent played uh, something like, uh, what did he do here? He played... Uh, Move like uh, what did you do here? Hmm? After I play queen e2, uh, he played c6. I brought rook. Why I brought rook? Because I expect my opponent will play knight d7. In that case, I can sacrifice. Sacrifice. Because it is queen check, then king moves, then queen into bishop. Or rook comes here, I can attack, and when he play, I can take, take, and win a piece. White is now more material, having more material. So, the whole idea, rook has come with the threat, that in case, now I played the rook move, I played the rook move, so that in case he brings the knight, then I will sacrifice. So, my opponent defended. Next, he is preparing to bring knight. So, what do I do now? I think this is a target for me. One, I can bring the knight or I can play king h1. Why king h1? In many variations, I want to bring my knight. I want, there is some checks are coming. And if I sometime when I advance, the checks are coming. So, a prophylactic move. 
Okay. So here, King H1, this is a prophylactic move. Now, my opponent uh, played a bad move. So, after move King H1, King H1, he played a bad move. Now, every time the diagram is getting better and better for white. Now, the bishop is doing nothing. So, bishop returns to the better diagram. Now, he plays another bad move, inviting knight to center. So, he plays knight d5. Now, you see, if somebody has seen that Laskar's game, <laughs> it is a, I would say it is a modern version of that Edward Lasker game is coming. Now, you should have vision for capture, check and threat. Capture. Bishop into knight, wins a pawn. I took bishop takes knight so that the knight will come to here attacking this and attacking this. Double attack. Two attack at the same time. So, you have to capture my piece. After bb8, rook b8, and now knight e5. So white wins the pawn back with a better game. What else he will do? Now there is a double attack. So he came something like uh, what did he do? My opponent. My opponent played some further bad move. He played here. I guess he played some move like queen. Rook takes pawn. Rook takes pawn. He brought rook, I think. Maybe he played bishop here. Maybe he played bishop here. I think this is the move he played. And I played rook takes pawn. And he came somewhere, uh, something like this. And I came queen. Now he comes here. So, this is a modern version. No, I don't think he played this move. Maybe I should go to the game. I am now my, my, my memory is not that good. I could see in earlier days, I could see all my remember all my games, but now my memory faded. So So I played queen e2 and rook and now double attack c6 and f7. So rook takes pawn. So here I played queen. Now if you play rook into it will get netted very quickly. So here he plays. Now this is very simple. I could have played this is a modern version of that Edward Lasker game. Double check and if you there, knight checkmate. And if you come up, if you come up here, this is also dragged and made. Check, check, and if you come, rook checkmate. And if you come, then pawn check, and then bishop checkmate. Bishop checkmate, rook checkmate, you have choice. This is a mate. So you can see. This is the lead of development and control of center makes this possible. I would say this is not a great game I played because I have got the idea by seeing those old games. I remember, I remember I saw a book, Golden Treasury of Chess. All beautiful old games full of brilliant games. I like that game, Golden Treasury of Chess. And then there is another book I like. Modern just brilliance, brilliant games of modern masters. It is actually old games, but in those days, I think by Evans. So this sort of thing you get idea 
then you only go through the classics you see if you go through the classics only you get the idea where is that orpheus me so here this sort of game you get the idea that he goes for quick attack and knight coming and then finishing the game gaining time the gaining time and okay now morphy played in 1857 such a game marshal played frank marshal played in some 1920s so we should see the games of past masters sonathan anand played a great game pro according to magnus carlson that is anand's best game ever aronian 2013 but in that game anand had in mind about akiva rubinsons game so always you go to the past masters and see how they played a position that remains in your mind let us see let us see this game okay edward lasker oh george thomas i remember that now now i remember opponent was george thomas sir george thomas okay okay so i will get that game that is a beautiful game okay see just a minute thank you biravadra for reminding so i see that game <laughs> thomas thomas i will tell you george thomas no hey i should go laskar edward laskar and thomas was black they are not any relative the surname is same edward lasker and emmanuel lasker emmanuel lasker was world champion edward lasker was a grand master thomas thomas was black this is this is the game this is the game check check and if he goes there it is a checkmate so you have to come up same way same way okay okay you cannot go, go any other square legally only one square check the one square check the one square check now here now you can do castle checkmate he played king but i would do castle i would do castle and checkmate it's a lovely move castle and checkmate so the king is dragged same thing if i had seen this so i just tried to get the idea so the original game is correct okay black has made lot of big moves and not followed the principle not developed so this this is why i am showing the classics this is i should save this game save this game okay this is a, this is a good game the point is in in 150 years back morphy knew that certain principles lead in development now knight c3 here i will tell you if morphy in now he could take a pawn bishop takes queen takes and you win the exchange now you can, murphy was not interested in this oh this is also winning this is also winning position you are getting the rook so he wanted to go for more better advantage instead of playing he played knight 
Why this move? Because on bishop takes pawn. Now here, okay, maybe he will play some move that queen exchange he did not like. So now bishop here. This is bad. A player making bad moves sacrifice castle. Now if you see today any youngster will find very quickly this so that he knows the other rook is coming. But in those days to give in a material without seeing the deep analysis it is not correct. So Murphy gave this. It is a great move. You cannot take with the knight. You cannot take with the queen. Only move. And now that means only white has got four active pieces. Black is completely stuck. Paralyzed position. If you play g6, then bishop into f6 wins material. Rook into wins material. So he must come. Now, if I will tell you, if you play bishop takes, you are winning material easily. Bishop takes and then win. But Murphy played in a grand style. He wanted the rook coming and knight. So check, check, checkmate. That means he was aware of the mating pattern. How many teams will learn from this game? Number one, a good mating pattern. Number two, the utilizing the lead in development. Utilizing the lead in development. Like now, BB5 check, take, rook in, rook in. So, this is one important aspect we should learn that you have to take when you are taking initiative, you must play very quickly and precisely. Of course, you can take other way and win material and win, but this is the most precise way. Okay. We take you Williams Tennis, first official world champion. And you will say you are not studying the games of tennis. Why? Because it is old. Who sees the old games? A lot of mistakes, theory. But Fisher studied. Robert Fisher studied the games of tennis, Glasgow, Capablanca, Alekhine. And he got strategy and tactics from all those games. You have to take pain. Okay, for example, this game I selected. White is uh, Williams Tennis. Good. Center is white better. Now, Williams Tennis is new. Fiancé to formation. H4, H5 and exchange. Open the H5. Okay, now h4. Actually, you can castle. White has already better game. But now that the pawn is pinned and knight has not come, if the knight was there, he will attack. Before he attacks, I pin h4. h5. Now, take. You cannot play pawn into. If you play pawn into pawn, knight e5 is crossing. I will play knight into e5. A crossing position. F7 under attack. G6 under pressure. So you should not take this way. You take to took with the knight. Now comes castle. Rook against queen. Why to play and win? Please find out. Please find out why to play and win. Do not make a general move. I want concrete analysis. You have to find a plan, ex execute with perfection, without mistake. Why to play and win?
Ramakrishna from Poski, I have already showed how to play for black side. Again, I will show today quickly. And there was not unlimited time. In Morphe's time, the time control was very slow. Today, I mean, we play one and a half hour and uh, increment. For some time, it was two hour 30 moves. In Morphe's time, it is uh, 16 moves in two and a half hours. 16 moves. 16 moves in two and a half hours. That means a player was getting 150 minutes for 16 moves. Practically 9 to 10 minutes per move. Practically for one move, a player was getting 9 to 10 minutes. 16 moves in two and a half hours is too much. Not BF7, not BF7. You know, here he played the move Morphe, I mean, Chinese played knight double attack. Now, sacrificing whole rook, giving the rook. The queen joins. Check. Now, the point is if you play, this is a bad move, a bad move. Because all white advantage is gone. Now black will win the game. Black is winning. That means Stenius played the move correctly and he did not get this tempting. He played rook. Made threat. So execution is perfect. And now queen takes. What should you do now? What will you do? Kya karoge abhi Find out what will you do now. Ramposki is not, not good for white. Just equal. I could play and win. Find out. Play like Chinese. Yeah. Correct move. And winning. So many pawns and bad king under attack. Overwhelming. So, you know, a player first of all finding that S4, S5 plan. You see, Tal has played many games. Tal is many games S4, S5 winning and Sicilian Dragon. We get the idea only when you see the classics. Original end. So, this is what I am trying to tell you. You need to study the classic and get the best of the old GMs. Okay, uh, this is a very good game. Uh, Stinis, I only sold one game. I will show Capablanca, Lasker, Max U and Alekhine. By the way, Ramakrishna, I told already that how D4, Knight F6, this is not great. Not great. So, you come. Now, if you want to win, because the main idea not allowing this. If you play, I showed this Rajwaja, three Rajwaja's plan, idea, the queen coming check and attacking. F3, queen check, whatever you do, next move I am coming. Black is comfortable. Or, alternatively, you play sub F4, then D5 is a good move. You play F3, I go back. Okay, this is not so great. Now you play e4, you know, you, you, you are just playing, I will just play this. I don't have to take this. I can play this. So, Tromposki is not dangerous at all. Okay.
so i will go to next kapab bank basically i told you i tell you that e4 e4 e5 there is some queen side but it was only in those 1908 such combinations were not known so kapab bank giving the queen to give checkmate it is a good idea though now the combination looks very easy check you cannot take the pawn after you cannot take take the pawn pin pawn is pin so check now development yes develop no matter what you do now you can see the radius this one two are watching this pawn bishop is watching this pawn that means you knight into pawn is winning after queen takes queen rook check queen check is made made or you take into this bishop check is made so even though it was 1908 papa blanca was original you know i would say i i really admire but simply i did not understand papa blanca because he was playing very simple chess with a lot of deep uh, strategic ideas i simply did not understand many of the games of kava blanca it was easy for me to understand alle kind because the threats were coming and directly planning to attack tactics i was more comfortable understanding alle kind it was very difficult for me to understand kava blanca or laskar but today i know that why the moves are played what is good and what is bad in that position so it was very interesting kappa blanca made lot of against reti for example against reti a similar thing reti the same concept this is called the siesta siesta variation bad, bad moves now forced check and attack if you take queen takes bishop d7 and i'll pick up the g5 bishop so bishop castle black has a huge lead in development and open line next move he is going to come rook here so mara now that there it is not important it is not important to take so he just played attacking the queen open the line four pieces of black is attacking the unguarded king the king is without a guard suppose suppose the knight is g3 this is okay even this is also okay he will survive but there is no guard near the king even if a rook rook is winning but he played the fastest move this up next threat coming here it's all he should resign idea rook check bet Idea rook check mate. Idea knight check mate. So what I mean to say, even Murphy, I mean Reti was a great player, very strong GM, original conception, understanding. He is stronger than many of the more many of the modern grandmasters. If you bring Reti, Kappa Blanca, if you bring the time machine, bring those players, Reti, Kappa Blanca, Ali Khan, I would say Lasker, they will be in top ten, top one, top fifteen. original they had lot of conceptions and by seeing those games only the modern masters stronger stronger they become so we should always see the classics when anand beat aronian he said during the game he was thinking the rubinstein's game anand was thinking the rubinstein's game only so it is a modern version of rubinstein's game rowlett rubinstein 
क्लासिक के हेलो मुकुंद अग्रवाल सो रेटी कापा ब्लांका इज अ फंटास्टिक गेम आई वुड से अनदर गेम ऑफ कापा ब्लांका आई लाइक कापा ब्लांका नेम जो इच फाइन गेम वेरी फाइन For Karo Khan, basically there are two lines. One is advanced, small advantage for white. Space, space advantage. Other one is to play main line. These are the two lines white gets good. Really, this is ND2, take the pawn and better. Or BF, E5 and little better. Now, knight f3, E6, E6, B2 and castle. White gets better game. White can do better. Or you can also play here C3. Here C3. Alex is 0 played. So after E6, you play B3. Not allowing the break. Not allowing the break. The more precise move here is to play ND2. ND2. No, 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 no. I think, uh, yeah, ND2 is okay. ND2. And now E6, you play NB3. Not allowing the break. Next, bishop e3, I will fortify. You play nd7, I will not, still I will not allow. White has got a grip on the c5. Still white is little better. Positional line. It is a positional line. But here in the game, he played this bad move. You know, you are, this is my, this is a bad bishop. So, in the French, what happens? Why, you know, in a French here, e4, e6, e4 d5 e5 now this is a bad french bad piece of the french only one bad piece otherwise french is fantastic so karo khan the bad piece is not bad so in the game what happened after the move bf5 so bd3 is a bad take take and i, I am playing a french defense without the bad piece black has no bad piece It's a bad position. Now castle. No problem. The bishop is having, no, white's bishop is having less mobility. This is Ras move. I, I remember once I played such a move in my younger days and because of that move I lost. So, I, thereafter I realized you should never compromise the pawn structure or king position. No, sometimes one player learns in a hard way, a very painful way, losing a game and rectifying the mistake. So, this sort of moves are bad moves. And now I will play. This is the point. Now you play, now if you play s3, I will take and open the h file. Now you have to close and now I get a square for my knight. A knight will get a thing here. No pawn can attack, no white square bishop. Not necessary, not necessary this move. He could have come directly, but he wants to weaken the position. Now, for example, I did not understand why Capablanca was making. Now, today I know what is the idea behind such moves. So, he plays knight. Now, knight. Knight. Rook. Knight. King. I want to fix the pawn a4. I want to play b5, b4. Okay, I must tell you why this move. You need to study one article from the book Middle Game written by Peter Romanovsky. Peter Romanovsky, a Russian master, wrote a fantastic book, Middle Game in Chess. In that, 
he devotes 15 20 pages about heavy pieces when there are heavy pieces the safety of the king is very important so he gives example laskar versus slater then he gives example um, some three four examples he gives that when there are heavy pieces i think he gives this example also lindo is capable this way now if you take queen into pawn it is bad so you see now in those days capablanca knew the safety about this concept this is a bad move if you do i will play attack the only move you have to defend the pawn you cannot allow me rook into pawn the only move and only square rather only square but then rook and the pawn will fall because on this rook here you cannot give me rook takes pawn and giving queen so you cannot take that pawn so here he plays a good move now there is next to nil chance that white can attack the king whereas this king is exposed and you lose and kapabang kapabang demonstrated okay i can give you reference please note i will give you one example is uh, emmanuel lasker versus karl slater slater was white lasker was black emmanuel lasker in the world championship i give an example white is uh, petrosian black is fisher year 1970 i think a good game same heavy pieces classic games and by seeing these games Fisher got the idea. So this is good. You exchange any rook, I'm, I welcome. Okay, this is forced. You play rook into rook and it doesn't. Rook e2 will come. So only move. Now I will paralyze the queen side first. Okay, just a minute, na? Eh? Just a minute. I'll paralyze the queen side. both white queen rook and is a paralyzed because of d4 pawn f4 pawn to to defend this pawns both heavy pieces are paralyzed overloaded now it rank penetration getting now terrible position okay what it is a jugzwa it is actually a jugzwa has come now no good king move and no queen move the rook check will win rook check king to f2 queen mate here rook check will win the game here it is a mate and here also will queen check queen into queen and winning the end game is easy so no queen move idea rook check g1 finish now the rook will come to c3 and the queen pawn jugzwang it is not it will lead to jugzwang queen is lost or get mate you can't come to g2 so by seeing this game you understand that heavy pieces the king safety is important so let us see fisher petrosian let us have a look at maybe i will show you that game when i am showing fisher you know part 2 part 3 i will show that Uh, let us say Alek Khan versus Nimjovic. Now basically opening this is not a good opening not good opening anyway so a bad move player modern players knows that priority is development but he hang on to the pawn so f3 now white has got a lead in development so 
white exploits by double attack double attack uh, not really not really it does not really he plays in he plays here attack there is no double attack here just attacking c7 so bishop g5 good move so that we can castle quickly castle good move okay now white has a huge lead in development black is uncastled and pieces are uncoordinated so how should white play now Tell me. What will you do now? Alekhain simply played rook and position is very bad. Now the king is uncastled. Okay, just a minute. I must put it quick, quickly before it gets power off. Now, white has got a huge lead in development and a safer king. Okay, so it is difficult, very difficult. So he comes now in the game. Look at G one, and he comes. It's up before covering up. So next, the initiative must continue. White has given material. He must keep pressing the position. It's up H five. Idea: the only move you take knight into, then rook check will come. With a terrific compensation. Now, white does not feel the absence of two pawns. Black pieces are uh, uncoordinated. Bad king. Everything is bad. Now you just open knight into and then getting checkmated. So the whole point is, you know, in those days opening was not updated. Nobody will play now like this. This variation is no more good. This is no more good. Not good. You don't have to play the stupid move like this. You can play here. Just play in the knight of six. It's a good position. And on f three, you know, you can you can ignore. You can do this. Don't allow a further downward. You know, if you being greedy, I showed you my game today. I showed you my game. So this game inspired me. Honestly speaking. This particular game inspired me. The lead in development. Now, if you take, then I have got queen g3, double attack. I want to show game of luster. A player plays French because he wants to draw. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, Clara, it is a wrong conception. No, no, it is not correct. French is complex. You can play for a win with French. It is no easy draw. Absolutely not correct. No, I can play for a win, and you know, if it is draw, then uh, Grandmaster will stop playing. Many great players have played French. Many, many great players in the report time. It's not draw. Even if you play here, here. This is also not problem. Black can play for a win. Not easy. 
So after the move play knight f3, I can go act to act operation. Very actively I can play. So not so easy. So it is a complex game. White is little better. But when the advantages slip, you don't know. Okay. Lasker Bauer, I will not two bishops sack. I will go to the position directly. I will go to the directly to the position. So here in this game, and the two bishop sack, Lasker sack, check, and this. And the rook is ready. Now the rook is ready to come and betting attack. Finish. King f6 made or rook is coming. You must surrender the queen to avoid it and winning easily. Finish. One piece gone. So the whole point is this is a combination we say you have seen in puzzle books and solve. But without having a backup, without having that knowledge, Laskar was the original one to start this. And then many performed two pieces sack to destroy the king position. So this is well known as Laskar sack. I will show a game of Laskar. I like the game very much. You know, there is that. Uh, yeah. Harry Nelson Filsbury was a great player. Filsbury was absolutely brilliant player. Laskar was world champion, second world champion after beating Steinitz. So in one tournament, Filsbury was winner ahead of Laskar. Filsbury was first and the world champion was second. So a brilliant player Filsbury, but this game he lost unfortunately and badly. Now, the modern master will simply play pawn into pawn, Rubinstein variation. Now, pawn into g3, knight c6, bg2, and now white is little better after castle. This is the main line of Taras. Rubinstein variation. Till today, this is considered advantage. After this, you have a positional approach. You can play pawn into pawn with a positional, or you can play bishop here and pawn takes pawn, and knight into white is better because. Of the weakness. So, the alternately, white black can choose to play knight into pawn. After pawn into pawn, I give, he can choose to play knight into pawn. Now, you can play pawn push, knight into pawn into pawn into pawn into check, bd2, take, take, castle. Now, bishop c4, white strands little better. This position, white center is good. And better chances. The another alternative, white can play a safer move. Instead of playing the move e4, the grandmaster prefers this. They don't want so much simplification. They don't want the knight exchange. They don't want the bishop exchange. It is not a very easy game to go for advantage with so many. So the players prefer e4. I will Come back to this e3 after showing this original game. So here, this is bad move, bad move. I would say 1896, 100 and 12, uh, I mean 25 years back, theory was not so much. So this was not a good move, not a good move by white. Okay. I would say the position is marginally better for black. Okay. So you cannot take the, you cannot take it. So he takes pawn into pawn. Unnecessary captures. So all this move h6, queen h4 was unnecessary. And after here, bishop takes, and now black is having a good compensation for the weakness. I will not discuss too much. I will only show the type of moves Laskar did. 
<coughs> is giving a threat. Actually, white stands good here because the threat of F5 is really annoying. This is the bad move. At this point, he should he should uh, pay attention what black is doing. So, an exchange modern player no an exchange sack will destroy the castle king position of white. So, the correct move here instead of playing f5, he should have played here bishop d7. I mean. Uh, maybe here, in, instead of playing f5, you should rather play maybe maybe queen f3. This is a safer way. Safer way to play. I will play bishop d3. But bad move. Exchange sack. Now, if you take, he has realized that this is not very pleasant. After this one, it is just bad position. I mean, compensation for the material. Queen into queen, bishop check. You will have some compensation, but this is what you should have done. But instead of playing this, he played a bad move. Now, please note the diagram. Look. A shocking move. Now, if you take the rook, it is bad. Check. And now check. Check. It is a bad position because development and the king rook will join the attack and it is just bad. Rook is entering. It is a bad position. So you cannot take the rook. You cannot take the rook. That means you have to play here, pawn into check. Now he took it. Okay. Check. Unfortunately, the mate, if you come to C line, rook check is coming or you come bishop d4 check is coming. So. You have to surrender the piece. And now he plays rook. Idea rook c2. Rook c2 you cannot allow. Now rook c4. Here actually the game white can hang on. This is a draw. After the move, the position is actually equal. For example, he can play queen attacking the rook. Check. If you, if you take, then you lose the thread of the attack. Okay, so take, check, check. Now check, check. And it's a draw, perpetual. I will check, 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 perpetual check and draw. So this is maybe Philsbury has seen this also. Maybe, maybe he has seen this. But who would like to draw an exchange up? You are material up, so he will not like to draw. He played. No, no, in the game, instead of playing rook e1, he equal he played the bad move. Passive move. Hillsbury was a great attacking player. So it is very terrible. Now rook. Queen. Bad move. Unfortunately, bad move. Now the rook had reached second time. The earlier the other rook had come to a3. So, Philsbury was totally shocked with this move. Now, the center is defended very well. And if it takes, he will get mated. If you take it, it is getting mated. No, if you take it, check. How, how, how would I do? How would I finish this game? Maybe maybe simply pawn push. Simply pawn push. Idea pawn check mate. Is it correct move? Because queen check is coming, I think this is not the correct move. So here, I think b5 directly, b5 and this check finish, this check is made. So you cannot take the rook. Because b5 check, you don't have to play a6. This is bad move I am showing you. Queen into pawn check will come. So b5 check takes queen check, only square, then bishop check will lead to mate. So Philsbury was shocked and after the move, he played the check and he took, but anyway it is lost. Lost. So he was so much shocked that his entire career was gone. Everybody thought that he is the next world champion. 
Everybody thought all over the world, Philsbury is the next world champion. But after the game, he was so much mentally second that uh, he played badly and another one or two years he died out of a heart attack. Rubinstein game I will show later. In the part 3, when I am doing, I will show you. So here, let me show the what are the moves instead of playing this uh, E3, what happens after the move here. This instead of this move, what happens? Context 1, I will show. 2 3 games. E3. I like E3. So, this is the main position of IQP nowadays. Now, why to play and put pressure? I have discussed about IQP. I have discussed this position. Can somebody tell me how should white play here? Please suggest me how should white get a first move I will make. Rook E1 is the main line. This is the main line and he plays this. What should white do? <laughs> okay. MBK in a critical solution, what I say in a losing position. The player makes further and further bad moves. I would say you should give more resistance. On this topic, once Vishwanathan Anand said, he said, okay, I have made a mistake and my game is bad and mentally you think you are lost. Mentally you think, okay, I have made a mistake and lose the game. So, I should give maximum resistance possible. So, Opponent is a human being. He will give you chance. He will give you 100% chance. Unless he is a 27, 28, 100%. So, when you are getting into a bad position, you see what best resistance you can give. How bad is the situation? Now, you have to see how bad is your situation and you see what is the immediate threat and what I can do, how I can prolong a long fight that's what you should do. Okay. So let us see. What should I do now? I am 100% sure I sold this games, this type of plan in many games. So I want to just check what should I do now. I don't know what is Christiago defense. If you show me the moves, I will tell you it's good or bad. No, no, knight, not knight e4, not knight e4. The point is now black has got problem of development. For example, a move like B E4, it is bad. Now, right into night is bad because this is actually just sin. It is a crime. It is a crime because by doing this, you are now getting no more isolation. 
center is very good for white till you have problem very good position for white if you take this now the problem is if you do this it is a blunder night into night check check and i want to so this is bad that means here eb6 is a bad move this is a bad move this is a bad move now, how are you going to develop this my friend how are you going to develop Merry Christmas, Paris Kumar. Good morning. Now, after B4, you cannot play B6. You can't play B7, and this is also bad. So he plays knight. Idea. Next move, I will play B6 and complete. But what are you doing, my friend? Your knight is doing a job. Knight duty. Knight's duty is to watch the square. You know, knight is watching the square. Now you go back. i will enter now knight will come first two we can threat this is a bad move bb5 will come so come exchanging pieces the attack will reduce if you play mechanically there is no attacking plan so this is more uncomfortable you we can you we can for that precisely i want it the position is plus minus because you know i would be, i would be very happy to play this move but my bishop is in trouble bishop has to be saved so plus minus what should white do now this is a modern game this is a 2016 game forced over now d6 square you know there are a lot of threats i can positionally only outplay now the king position is bad this is a bad situation of the king this is not good and this structure is loose so white advantage has increased tremendously i restrict i don't want some some sort of move will come on the king side restriction threat a5 now is new square new square you cannot accept that pawn taking the pawn then you have got that a7 pawn is hanging this is my plus minus double attack on a6 a8 this is just bad bad knight check knight d8 so you really cannot take the pawn so here he is simply outplayed it's all over now white pieces are all coming so this is a very modern game and uh, showing thorough understanding of that iqp who is this fellow ding lyron ding lyron is 2800 plus now so what we observe that in the game that he is this is this is a classic game b4 is a classic games he has got they have got all the idea from classic game not allowing development night into night is a bad move suppose you do this i will play pawn into and this is a excellent position for white good center and better development okay maybe i show another game not this maybe here now sakarier mamadiaro a great player so i recommend e3 here e3 why this move i expect the pawn into pawn will come i expect he will have to take sooner or later i want my bishop here and my queen here go for the attack but then you have to watch a knight tempo coming so a3 is a useful book idea bishop c2 and queen d3 
यूजफुल वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम सो नाउ रूप जॉइंस द अटैक वाइट आईक्यूपी इज गुड बिकॉज ऑफ गुड सेंटर एंड लॉट ऑफ ओपन लाइन ओपन लाइन मीन्स यू कैन सी द पावर ऑफ दिस दिस बिशॉप्स यू नो दिस बिशॉप्स पावर दिस बिशॉप्स पावर देन थर्ड रैंक मे बी समे दिस रूप विल कम फॉर सी थ्री और दिस रूप विल कम E3 and then this threat. Even I have seen rook coming to c1 and rook coming to c5 and coming some areas. So diagonal for and the queens, the queen success, the queen success, and the knight success. So many open lines, good center and good open line. But all this will lecture will go if you exchange few pieces. So why it will be down? तो आईक्यूपी अंडरस्टैंडिंग डू नॉट एक्सचेंज अननेसेसरी योर अटैकिंग चांसेस विल गो सो ऑफ कोर्स नाउ द आइडिया इज टू गो एच वाई एच सिक्स आईडिया एन जी फाइव द पॉन इज इरेलेवेंट हिट डिफेंस द डी फोर पॉन Now taking the pawn, there is a threat on d7. You have to take it. The bishop has no good good square to play. This is this is bad. If you play like this, now it is a bad bad because actually plays. I will take and c4. I will take knight in three pieces. So he goes. Rb4 plus minus. White has more space and attacking chance. That is why H six will come. First would go or protecting center. Okay, this is bad, but anyway, anyway, anything you do is already white is having a big advantage. Now I want to relocate the position, bishop's position. So it is. Bad if you take it. Weak. And bishop is posting, and then winning. No doubling allowed. And I will post the bishop. Plus minus. You dare not take that pawn. Two bishops and uh, two pieces. The f2 is guarded. There is no threat. He is able to gain. So this is approach of a mod. Bach is a grand master. He is a good grand master from Hungary. So I saw another game of d42. I think. I guess this one, yeah. In the same line, e three. Oh, this is not good. Unnecessary exchange. No pressure. B B two by cup. Now preparing for e four center. Plus minus. Once you get a good center, then you should plan for initiating. Now rooks are coordinated. I will decide rook d1, rook c1. Both rooks will be centralized, and eventually e5, d5. All this will come. To make sure that this is not harassing. To make sure that I am not harassed with knight. Okay. Now if you if you play like this, suppose not possible. Not possible. I am having two. You don't have support. So you, otherwise, I would have saved the bishop. Anyway, he can't play this move now. How should you play? The rook is attacked. What should you do now?
Alo dạ vâng mà có anh Ok I will tell you I will tell you That line Ramakrishna ED5 wind E5 white is better White is definitely better than that position Friends Queen D5 then and after Saras that white is clearly good in that position. I prefer. Okay, what will you do now in this position? You know, the King's Indian attack, many of the reverse systems are not really good. King's Indian attack is a reverse King's Indian defense. But here, black is not obliged to play all white moves. That is the point. Sometimes, the extra move, you don't know what to do. That is why, King's Indian attack is not as popular as King's Indian defense. Correct. Paris Kumar, you are correct. Enough. Enough. Only the back rank. You have to watch only the back rank. Now, clear the back rank. If you take it, the tempo is coming. I am getting a tempo. Finish. He should resign. There are too many threats. Queen is 6. Now, knight is 6. There are too many threats. G7, E6. Everything is bad for black. Resigns. So, where is the mistake? Now, the mistake is you should. This is the mistake. This is the culprit. A player should avoid such unnecessary exchanges. You know, he should play B6, B7, Castle, NC6. Anyway, white is little better. But this sort of moves gives a free hand, free easy center. Yeah, coming to uh, classical games. Alexander Alekhine was actually a great genius. If you want to know more detail, strategical ideas of Alekhine, attacking ideas, I suggest that a player should go through Two volumes of Alekhine written by uh, Alexander Kota. Very nice, two beautiful books. The books are in German, in Russian language. German, I don't know whether it is in English. I don't know. It could have been translated. But Alexander Kota's two books, volume 1, volume 2 on Alekhine, is absolutely fantastic collection. Great analysis for upcoming players. I would consider the intermediate player means I would say 1800 and advanced player means 1801 to 2300, 2400. So, whatever material I am showing is for intermediate player, 18, 1900 up to 2000. The, my suggest, my classes will be very useful for 2000 rating level. I can go up to 2300, 2400, not beyond that. Then you need lot of uh, other uh, good material and a bigger coach. So my material I'm giving you is only up to around 2000 level now. So after that, maybe if time permits, I will go 2000 to 2300 level in the next days. But uh, let me complete. It will take me at least another six months to cross this material. 
So this position, I am telling you now in Alekhine plate, C3, Queen B3. Alekhine is black. So this is a bad move. A player should play as a simple, you know, fielder is passive, but it is not that it is winning for white. The combination after the move, and a sense is 6, D4, D6. Now this is the main theory. D6. Now bishop c4. Now you can play here. Uh, maybe, maybe here b7 and then knight f6. I would say the fielder comes directly. Nf3, d6, d4. Now d7. Now bishop c4. Now c6. This is the main line and white is marginally better. That's all. White should not fall into, black should not fall into traps. But let us say by transposition it is clear. Builder. Bad move. You should play here bishop to e7. And after d4, knight comes and castles. Quick castle. So instead of doing this, if it is here bishop g4. Okay. Alekhan has a different idea. I will not advise players to play this kind of moves until they can analyze thoroughly, ready to give material. Now, if he wants, he can take bishop takes pawn and then queen b7. But then you have a problem on f3. You have a problem on f3. So, knight h6 takes, takes, king giving the rook. Now you have attacked both rook and knight. Queen is attacking both. So normally a player will save the bigger piece. Normally a player will save the bigger piece. But this is better because after the move the queen is badly placed against the rook. That means this bishop will come. Zatke ke saath aega. Zatka dega ho. Sok. Now, Alekhine played queen. There is a mate threat. There is a mate threat. So, you have to play f3. No other move. The point is, now, if you play bishop here, queen and rook, the check is not working. Because there is a defense. When you give the attack on the queen and check, the defense is here. This is the one defending. So, bishop takes one. Forced and now knight. This is important. Immediately there is no mate because bishop check he has a shelter. So I want to remove the shelter. Forced. Pawn into will lose two pieces. Queen check and queen queen into. So only move. And now this is finished. Queen or king, your choice. So Alekhain was the master of attack master of open line and he was following the principle strictly. He understood the basic fundamental features of opening and also getting a good plan in middle game. End game also was not bad but Oscar was a stronger player in end game. Capablanca was a stronger player in middle game compared to Alekhine's tactics yet strategical superiority. Okay, let's go. This is finished. Now queen or king. That means at the moment Alekhine knew this position that this is a better move instead of playing rook. Here you will take queen into and now you defend this pawn you have to defend. Now this is okay. This position it is not so great. Why it is a pawn up you will consolidate. But this move is here queen king d7 fantastic move. Classic game. These are absolute classic example. You will not find such thing in modern chess. I, I like the game. Maybe, maybe uh, some time back I saw Anis Giri outplaying uh, Magnus Carlsen in a classic game, classic style. Anis Giri outplayed Magnus Carlsen in a classic style. I will come back in the fourth part. Okay, the next one.
Emitters. Yeah, this is a bad move. Breaking the basic principle. First of all, you don't have to don't have to exchange. Maybe maybe it was better to play pawn into pawn. This was maybe better than b seven. But anyway, this is a good position already. Bad move. He is insisting to win material. No, this is what in a Gata Kamaski and Tapalov game. Kamaski played like this to win the pawn. Gata Kamaski, not in a different center counter Scandinavian. He played such a maneuver of pawn to win one material, but it is bad. Astogai, Kal Kidar Kitch, Kidar Jaya King. Castle Hoga is a very bad castle. So, so he winning pawn. Now, if you take queen into pawn, I think bishop check is plus. So, this bishop pawn push. Castle, there is no castling here. This is a bad push. So, he decided to come. Okay, what other move you want to do? Other move, for example, here at the moment. Suppose bishop takes rook now, then bishop check is queen into attack here, and now queen check is threatened. Castle is ruled out, it will be made. If you castle, it will lead to mate in three two three moves. Am I right? No, no, no. No, if you castle here, I think uh, I think I should play first rook in. Idea the queen check and then bishop coming. Next move, I am giving a threat queen check and the bishop coming here to mate. It will be a disaster. So cannot castle. And if you if you do other moves, so queen into knight. After that, I will give bishop check and crossing. Bishop check, then bishop h6 check, crossing. So in the game, he plays knight into pawn. Okay. What else? If you play bishop into again, the bb5 check is coming. So he took check. Check, check, he resigns. Because now if you go king to g8, the queen will come. Idea, idea, there is a mate. Idea, idea, and there is a mate. There are two, two, two threats I am giving. So if you come here, I will play idea queen coming to mate. You cannot play queen f8. Queen, queen coming anywhere. So the whole idea, it is not easy to give material. Of course, when you see that Cambridge spring lines, you get all these ideas that giving the pawn for sacrifice and take the center and go for attack. So this is again a nice example. I like the game because he is giving material to open up the game. This is bad. G5, G4 is bad. Anti-positional moves. Please refer the game. White is uh, Topalo, Black, Gata, Kamaski. Center counter. Mm, I would say this I have shown maybe. Mm, yeah, I have shown this. No, I have not shown this. Mm, no control that. Not a good. A player should not release pressure from the center. First of all, that ND2 is a passive move, and this is a second strategic mistake. Now the modern player will play e5. Modern player will play e5 and get a very comfortable game. Immediately he will get rid of them. So other kind played knight e4. This is also not bad. Now white has a strong grip on the center. Now attack will come. So 
we have got the wood center and clamper and now this bishop queen everything is attack taking the pawn queen as four finish another self goal see this was played in 1922 the defense was not so good and they were not knowing about backward pawn square weakness pawn weakness all this thing was not there the immediately he says abhi white nach raha hai iske upar so bola band kar diya nach kud band but this is equal to surrender because now the center remains intact abhi black center he will not be able to because knight can come here any time you cannot now the center is fantastic so d5 the center is zabardast taking queen you will invite the queen if you take it finish now you take just attack you can play g4 rook g8 will come now g4 r g8 and now knight you cannot do knight e3 is, you can't stop now queen b3 suppose you try to stop Queen b3, knight the four will come. You have no time to stop queen. Knight the four will come, so you cannot play g4. Mate, it it is now mate. It will lead to mate now. Whether you take with the pawn, whether you take queen will enter. You take with the pawn, queen has four finish. Take with the rook, take take queen has four. interfering with the queen queen g3 unstoppable design so what i mean to say these are the old games they were making in those days attack was the only thing who attacks whom king side attack and there were many players ignoring about center double bishop theory they did not care double bishop they did not care about center they did not care about control of open line so winning material going after the king gradual evolution so when you see this you understand that the grip on center is necessary to go for an attack okay hello falak joni naik welcome what is the idea of the van geet opening a lot of opening van geet i unless i see the moves i don't know there are so many new things so i would say ramakrishna what your question was i would say this is good for why e4 e6 d4 d5 nd2 c5 then e d queen d5 now this is wood for white miss of c4 castle and pawn takes whatever you do black white is little better in this position always no matter what level white is always little better if at all you want to play this c5 move you do not do this is more more to the point classical If I, I will. If I play now or today, friends, I will go for nf6 and this line. This is good, very good. C5. Now you can play. What are you going to? You can play f4. I will play c5, c3, and c6. Now knight f3. Then I can play a6. Now bishop d3. I will play rook b8. I will play b5 and rook b8 and all. And if you play the other move here. Nf d7. You can play also b d3. A player like Tal prefers this. Now c5. No c5. Now c3. C3. And c6. Now nf3. This is also possible. This is possible. And also, the player can play here. There are this line. Main line is f4 or b d3. I think white is little better, but black has good fighting chance. I prefer knight f6. But instead of c5, okay. What is Van Geet? Hello, Vela. How are you? What is Van Geet? I don't know. <laughs> There are so many interesting new names. Van Geet seems to be a player from Holland. Van. So, what is the line? Okay. The next four, next line, I will go. Part two, I will cover Botvinnik, Vyslav, Petrosian. 
in the part 2 of the classic games i will cover next four world champions botwinix mislav petrosian and tal says paski tal i will put later so this four grand masters i will cover in the part 2 then part 3 tal fisher carpo kasparo then part 4 other modern grand masters this is not good to do exchange threat nb4 active move so a double edge game now black, white will castle short and black will try to do some attack the idea is to avoid exchanges the idea is to exchange this is the good piece and the comparatively you want to exchange that black is little better the idea you know to to prevent a move maneuvering so this is a good move what are you going to do now now this is a very weak move with this move believe me this is the reason for losing such a move can be disaster i am sure that botwinik has analyzed all these games and botwinik uh, won a game brilliantly who was that player jagroski and such a move the e4 square with this move he is making three weaknesses with this move one the e file now because all this is a target to the e4 square this is weak the e4 square e file and also this becomes bad so many bad things at one move cost the whole game now the way alekine exploit is really exemplary this is the only bad piece now the poorly placed i want to come back quickly to that want to drive the knight from center i want to push so that i get total possession of the center these are bad moves no needless to tell these are bad moves Very easy target for me so push now the e line now this is the only square is coming so control this bad now this piece has no scope this is no scope bad bishop center is good for and the e line all because of that f4 move all because of that f4 now you will see is systematically now i want to put the queen i want to this and then queen so that total control of c line e line what a line up what a line up and it is all over now after getting a grip now he goes you cannot queen is tied down to the defense of the knight you know queen is tied down was 1 2 3 line up now i want to enter and this is disaster any way enter because now the queen will filter is all over 
He has taken possession of the E3 square now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now the bishop access. The bishop is having access. You cannot capture. In the event if you capture, the queen will enter. Cross. Post. He should resign now. It will lead to mate only. He could not take the pawn. So this is all out. So a, a move like this, you know, F4, everything disaster because of that one bad move. It is, now it is lost. It is lost. It is lost completely. Very well played. Initiative. Cut off queen into C. F1 will come. And better king, better queen, pass pawn. It is winning. So, I will show that game, you know. The idea is to build up only because he played this rotten move f4. Ye jo hai, ye too much. A mistake. If you did not play this game, you can struggle and survive. How to, suppose you are, I am playing white pieces today. I will think be better push the king, try to exchange queen here and exchange the bishop. You know, there are so many ways you can fight. But not this rubbish. This is the one, the square. Okay, in that uh, Botvinnik, Jagorowski, similar thing happened. Hello, this is a great idea, sir, covering games of all champions. Yeah, actually, I want to... Okay, Van Geet is NC3. Okay, I will tell. Now, the main point is, uh, I did not study the old classics. When I started, I liked uh, I liked Alec Hain. I liked uh, Paul Keres. You know, Botvinnik I did not like in those days. But I, I know Botvinnik is really great. So, it is important to know, learn so much from the classics. You should always see. So the part two, I will cover the next world champions. Uh, Botvinnik, Petrosian, Spassky, Smyslov. Botvinnik, Smyslov, Petrosian and Spassky. Because Tal is a more active, I will put it in with, along with Fisher. So next four grandmasters, I will cover part two. see no this is also good for white center now e4 now if n pass it is bad next i want to bring my one of the knight or bishop to this point, blocking the passport. Plus minus. The position, the pride of the position is knight, and if you take a protected passport, will come. And white square problem. White is playing for big initiative now. Plus minus. So what I mean to say, a player should have feeling for such positions. So I leave this and one more game is that I have to show you. This one. You about Max Zue. I have discussed this so I don't need to show this game. Already I have discussed the uh, game in my earlier lecture. This one. I showed this plan. Now white is better. White has a better better center and more active pieces. White wants to join the queen against the king. Now the knights are covering the squares. So white finds a new way to come to the king side by playing queen d6. Do not in a hurry. I will bring queen to g3. So now white has achieved the, the knight and queen against the king. Now this is active. 
against this. The knight is active, queen is active. Both rooks centralized. You are forced to play g6. Now again active. Forced. Now the point is the knight is attacked. So I take a break, attack. So you have to defend. Now Alekhain showed the middle game plan. For example, you need a rook lift. One of the rook, one of the rooks should come to the third rank. So you need to play e4 and clear the third rank in advance. e4 comes with a threat. The main idea, clearing one of the rook will come to third rank now against the king. It's finished. Now there is a threat now. There is a threat. So you need to come. You need to now whatever you do, it is lost. He played this, but anyway, the game is lost. Check queen, queen into and mate. Leading to checkmate. So I had showed this, so I did not do much discussion. But those who missed, I am just showed you the plan. One, two move. Max you I have to cover. Max you, he was actually told by many is the weakest world champion. It's a really bad uh, remark because he was a very strong grandmaster and he has contributed so much to theory. You has written beautiful books on middle game and end game. So today also those books are popular. Use books uh, on middle game and end game are really good today also. So white is little better. Okay, uh, other alternative is that you could play so bg5, but he just plays. In those days, opening was not updated. So, white is little better. Now, castle rook d1 is coming. Not making this because he doesn't want a weakness at f4 or d4. So, two bishops and open five. How should white play now? My question to you, how white is having two bishops and better game, but what should white do? Plan. Find out what will you do now. Yes, Mark Siu was a good player. He was a good grandmaster. He beat Alekhan because Alekhan was actually totally alcoholic in those days. That's why he lost. Alekhan stronger player, but you cannot <laughs> you cannot drink alcohol every day and play good chess. So he lost very badly. But uh, Mark Siu was a good grandmaster. Hello, Parth Kuntal Rawal. Yes, Yusupo books are very good. For intermediate pair, really great books. So, here, take, take, and now queen check. Bishop f7 does not work. Now, bishop f7, I will attack. Suppose you play bf7, it is not really good. This is a break. Check. And now, suddenly the queen side is punched. You take pawn into pawn, bishop a6 with a bad structure. So, white is better, clearly better. So, in the game, when you give a check here, you cannot play bf7. I want to fracture the pawns. Tactical target. When you play here, then a6, c6, a7, all tactical targets. 
two bishops. I just open the position. Now white played badly. Actually, the position is plus minus. Why? Because a simple pass pawn and the knight is inferior to bishop. So <laughs> white should come back. <coughs> now, not such a good. You have to come back. The queen is decentralized now. You should come back quickly to center. And bring the rook and very easy and start rolling the pawn. One, two, three. You bring the queen back into the game and start advancing the pawns after coming to c2. Black has nothing, no plan available, and simply the a pawn will decide the issue. So he made bad, bad move. Thinking, what, what are you doing? The calculation, you give a check, I take, and back rank is bad. Not a not correct move. So black is playing good. Now the queen is cut off. This is unexpected move. That is why a player should have been very careful to bring the queen in advance. Now counterplay. The game has become equal. After the move C5, white loses all his advantages. Now, all you need is queen here. Now, this will not be done. There will not be Now, he will give a rook check. You, you, you come here, then queen check will come. Or maybe simple queen. Simple queen. Hmm? Maybe, maybe here. Uh, maybe here. What can I do? Here, rook check. You cannot come, and if you come here, queen check is good. Queen check is good. Now this bishop. And you come here. Are, hey, the check is coming. I think this move should have equal according to the analysis. What happens? What will you do here? Maybe queen check and knight f4. Maybe queen check and knight f4 should be should be troublesome. So instead of playing this, black gave chance. He played this this bad move. Kuch nahi hota. Discovery there is nothing. And now now he win the game easily. Nothing he does. Winning. He consolidated. Just I will write back in a minute. Please hold on. I'll show one more game. One important game. Okay, so I will show one more game. In the afternoon session, 
what i will do i have showed you four world champions came today four five world champion rather five so what i will do in the afternoon session from this grand master skills i will give you 10 positions on middle game or end game 20 positions only middle game end game no open that means you have to play like world champion you find how the world champions played and won their games with the idea so play like world champion 10 diagram and play better than world champion that means the mistakes by world champion you have to exploit so 10 games play like world champion 10 diagrams play better than world champion so 20 diagrams i will give you select in the afternoon session so you will be interesting so you will enjoy today is being christmas it's a holiday no class for you i'm sure no school no class so 20 diagrams in the afternoon session then play like world champion and 10 diagrams play better than world champion that means mistakes of world champion so i will show you in the afternoon and one more game of you i will show maxwell you know nimjo indian was popular bishop d3 now f3 it is all correct no nothing wrong white is better the main idea of white is to next move he want to play f4 and then f5 e5 all this will come so before now f4 is a serious threat so black must move this to meet f4 with the f5 to meet f4 with f5 this is equal position is roughly equal now rook c8 will come and the bishop will the pressure on the pawn but instead of playing this he plays knight g3 okay this is also playable now f5 is coming this is not a good move not very good move white has good compensation for the pawn actually white is better because he has now pair up bishop in open position and space and kings are attacked the modern grand master will prefer white today today the modern grand master will prefer white otherwise i will play f6 knight f6 means bishop g5 i am going to play f6 and f6 bg5 is terrible so it plays f6 i like the move b5 a fantastic idea for counter attack you know max u faced the deadliest attacking player of his time he faced one of the most dangerous attacking player in chess history alekine 70 games he played 70 games he played with alekine lot of attack he faced so he knew that rook h4 is coming so the counter attack is preparing with the queen the queen is coming into the counter attack so the b5 moves lovely so defended the d4 point taken away the main thread of the attack the bishop won so i check no problem no problem about it now <laughs> from nowhere all attack is gone because it is a counter attack now the bishop is watching the square so rook wants to come here and kill him the, this is the main defender watching this point so doing two things two bars in one shot now if you take the rook is entering and the bishop remains under attack you can't allow rook check will lead to mate it will lead to checkmate check and now the queen will enter various mate threats 
F3, D3, B2, anything is leading to mating attack. Lost. So, this is a lovely counter attack. You know, Alekhine, 70 games marks you played with a great attacking player. So, he knew the pulse of attack. Before the storm comes, he is preparing for the counter attack. Such a variation was played by Fischer in one of his games with Petrosian that B5 getting a room for the queen to get a counter attack. That is why, you know, Fischer and all these players, Fischer saw the games of uh, Max, Alekhine, Capablanca, Steinis, and Carlson see all these games of old masters. So, Kasparov studied Alekhine. So, it is the classics gives all this power. But I will tell you, this is not real. You should not be convinced black is good in this position. This position hai, it is okay. Let me show you two three games first. Ye variation ko. See. D3, F3. Now, SL. Now, black's target is the pawn. He wants to bring the rook here and take the pawn. He wants to bring the bishop here. He wants to bring the knight here. So, the yet the pawn gap. Ye pawn gap. But in return, you have got mobility and uh, two bishops and attack. Forget the pawn. Forget that pawn. Attack. You have to take. You can't allow me. Same thing he is doing. Now queen e7, I don't know how good it is. This is this is bad. Knight check threat, move the queen. Now why this move? I need to put pressure, room for queen h4. Creating a weakness. Queen h4 will not win. A weakness will be created. That is what I want. So, now knight into pawn threat. Now, Bishop has 6 and now threat. You cannot take it. The rook is coming now. You can take and lose queen. Otherwise rook is coming with the multiple threats. Now he played brilliantly. E5. Idea. If you take knight G5. It's a modern grandmaster approach, same game. What Geller and you, I am showing the same variation, but much better game. Now d4 is coming. He finished the game. What else you will do? Now, look at the rook at a8 is attacked and ng5 threatened. At this point, ng5 is not working. Pawn into g5 or queen attack. So the queen moves with the tempo and g5 winning material. So the whole point is the variation was not bad, but got that position unexpected blow. One more game I will show on that ninja Indian. Dolmato. I like this variation for white. I also played beat two IMs, one American IM and one Sweden IM. Same position I beat them. Not F3 on this year. The queen check was unnecessary. This is absolutely bogus. Which meaning nahi hai. Why should I play G3? Why should I play G3? Then uh, Kuzmin beat somebody, Farago. Kuzmin beat uh, Ivan Farago with this after G3. Better. Now, I want to harass the queen, the e6 point, knight f4, bishop g5, harassing the queen, bg5. e5, plus minus. The knight on d8, e8 is very poorly placed.
and white is clearly better black knights and bishops are very passive it is not a good position and white went on to win easily the pawn is irrelevant here it is playing no meaning i am now want to access now the knight is entering the rook will come it saves the exchange but places price and and winning slowly that means the variation was good but geller you know 1952 he uh, he lost 52 or 53 53 it was zuris 1953 he lost to uh, eu because theory but later on geller developed and uh, the variation was improvised dolmato one the dialogue of one okay so uh, thank you very much friends i will be back at uh, 2:30 for 20 diagrams i will present to you 10 play like world champion and another 10 play better than world champion you like that i will i know you will like to play better than world champion so 10 diagrams first you play like world champion then you only will become better so 20 diagrams be ready in the afternoon thank you very much sabko mera namaskar take care and bye